Are you a professional photographer looking to add something special to your landscape and cityscape images? What about adding a slice of Hollywood special effects to the frame? Not sure what we're talking about? Then spend 30 seconds at the keyboard and Google the film Inception. The cinematography in the movie plays heavily on distorting the perspectives of the environment and you can add a similar style to your own images. The key to unlocking this effect lies in Affinity Photo's Perspective Tool, a hugely powerful feature that can completely transform your frame in just a few minutes. And the truth is, this feature is often overlooked, so now's the time to explore it. With your image open in Affinity Photo's Photo Persona, head over to the toolbar and select the rectangle Marquee Tool, and the keyboard shortcut for this is M. Head to the bottom left of the frame and then draw out the tool to cover roughly the bottom third of your image. Release the mouse and you'll see the marching ants confirming your selection. Next, hit Ctrl and J, or Apple and J if you're using a Mac, and Affinity Photo will create a new layer using your selection, which will appear automatically in the Layers panel. Our next job is to turn off your selection by hitting Ctrl and D, and the marching ants will disappear. Make sure your new layer is selected, if not just click on it, and then head to the bottom of the Layers panel and click on the Live Filters option. Scroll down and find Perspective. A frame will appear around your selection and you can use the corner handles to drag out the perspective. It might be worth at this moment zooming out by holding Ctrl and minus to get a wider view of your canvas. Drag the top corner handles out and then the bottom corner handles down and in. And you'll see already that the perspective of your lower third is starting to change. Every individual image will be different, but we're trying to get any line on the layer to look like a straight vertical line. If it isn't already, make sure the snap function at the top of the interface is turned on. This will help you be more precise with your adjustments. If you need to, you can zoom in and get a better look to get all your lines lined up exactly how you want them. There we go, that looks a lot more level. Deselect the perspective tool by heading to the toolbar and selecting view tool, and the keyboard shortcut for this is H. Obviously we've got some over matter from this layer below, and we need to solve that, so we're going to use the crop tool. Head back to the toolbar and find the crop tool, keyboard shortcut for this is C, and then just crop in on your image until you've got a format that you're happy with. I'm going to get rid of a bit of the top of my layer here. Once you're happy with your cropping, you can head up to the top left of the interface and click apply. So we need to make the join between the layers look more natural so that it looks like there's a drop and the road falls straight down. With your top layer selected, look to the bottom of the layers panel and click on the FX option. When the dialog box appears, click on the gradient overlay option, and at the moment it will look a bit strange, but don't worry, we can fix that, because our next job is to change the angle to 270 degrees. Again, this will look a bit strange, but when we change the blending mode from normal to multiply, you'll see that we're starting to get a drop shadow effect. If it's too strong, simply lower the opacity. And there we go, it looks now that the road is dropping straight away to the ground. Okay, let's close this down, because we need to fix the final pixels on our overlay image here. But before we do this, head to the top of the interface and select Layer, and then head down and select Merge Down. This will compress the layers in your Layers panel. And then we head back to the toolbar one last time and select the Clone Brush tool, and the keyboard shortcut for this is S. Now you can change the size of this brush with the square bracket keys. Hold down Alt to select the target area, and then drag and brush in all the pixels that you want to brush in. And we're just going to make this look a bit more natural, so we've extended that side. And 
then on the other side should be a lot easier as there's no real straight lines just makes the rest of the frame look like it's all fitting into place and a lot more natural now zoom in and you might need to just feather the edges here using a smaller clone brush there we go that looks a lot more natural like it's falling straight down and again just this little line here where the rails come together we can fix that by just using the clone tool to drag the rail slightly out when we zoom out there we go that looks a lot better finally you can save the file by heading up to file export and saving your file in your chosen format whether that be a PNG, JPEG, TIFF or PSD and there we go that's how you add an inception style Hollywood special effect to your image have fun creating with your photos and I'll see you next time